During ESCO 2022, I present the primary results for the dynamic study, which is an academic study designed to demonstrate the clinical utility of a CTDNA guided adjuvant therapy strategy in stage 2 colon cancer. So as colorectal oncologists, the decision making in clinic how to offer adjuvant chemotherapy to stage 2 colon cancer patient is a huge dilemma. We need better biomarker that can guide us to limit adjuvant treatment to those who have high risk disease and therefore will benefit from treatment and also to spare patients with low, risk, a low recurrence risk who won't benefit from treatment from unnecessary therapy. So the dynamic stage 2 study is um, designed to demonstrate that using CTDNA result to guide therapy will reduce the number of patients receiving chemotherapy by not compromising recurrence risk. So 455 patients were randomized um, based on the CTDNA results. So patients who are randomized with a CTDNA guided arm, if they have a positive result, they will receive adjuvant chemotherapy. If they have a negative result, they are observed and did not receive adjuvant chemotherapy. Patients who are allocated to the standard management arm or the adjuvant treatment decision is based on conventional clinical pathological criteria. The study endpoint was two-year recurrence-free survival. We also presented data on the use of adjuvant chemotherapy. So the key findings from this study are that using CTDNA guidance, we can reduce the number of patients or the proportion of patients receiving adjuvant chemotherapy from 28% from the standard management arm down to 15% in the CTDNA guided arm, and that's the patient, number, the proportion of patients with CTDNA positive results. And importantly, after a median follow-up of 37 months, we find that a two-year and three-year recurrence-free survival was similar between the two arms. Specifically, the two-year recurrence-free survival was 93.5% in the CTDNA guided arm and 92.4% in the standard management arm. Another finding to highlight is that the CTDNA positive patient who received adjuvant chemotherapy, their recurrence-free survival at three years is 86.4%. So in conclusion, this study suggests that in patients in stage 2 colon cancer, a CTDNA guided management by treating only patients with CTDNA positive results after surgery can substantially reduce the proportion of patients receiving chemotherapy without compromising recurrence risk. Additionally, the favorable three-year recurrence risk survival in CTDNA positive patients who received adjuvant chemotherapy compared to the historical series of patients where the recurrence risk is extremely high, suggest that this is a subgroup of patients who may benefit um, greatly from adjuvant chemotherapy. Mm -hmm.